Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. This is Julie with JFP Freedom. Would like to thank the Lord and give him credit and thank him for blessing me with these words today that go out to the world if they so choose to listen with words that destroy and overthrow, uproot and break down, or build and plant. Okay, so there's really no like um, Sunday update because he wasn't there. <laughs> Um, but I did wear a nice dress, so that will come into play soon. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure if you would be there, but I thought, I usually only wear this dress like once a year. And I thought, why not just wear it twice this year at least? Because I think of it as only a Christmas dress. Um, but it could, I could wear it like all winter, so I need to <laughs> just get over that part of my thinking. Yeah, so actually I thought I really failed on Friday. But the Lord told me that because whenever he went to say hi, because I smiled and turned towards him, it was not a fail. So he's going to explain a little bit more about that. And that Freudian slip thing, I guess it's really a thing for Stefan. So he's been thinking this whole time that if I don't respond to him like immediately, then that means I must hate him deep down. And then I must be being fake whenever I smile at other times. So that will come out as well. So. The fact that I responded quickly and it was more smiley right away, um, in his view, that was a good thing. So, And that's what it's talking about here at the beginning of this message. It says, yeah, hun, think fake as a pleasure and smiles in his view, chick, for the win. Till now, bub. Warranted, son. <clears throat> My true son in the faith, just like he won the condemned lottery bloke. Heart and gal's regard of a lifetime, or so I thought it, folks. And there she goes out that condemned to me door of, yeah, folks, think spirit crushed to the max, dear ones, that she, and did I not, folks? I did, dear ones, tell her to stick true to her credo, and that's of me, doll. He for sure should be looking to me at this point, boys, to see if he can truly navigate through them Julie waters of, Oh, she has shipped to him, folks, by now. And he laughed. A big old big tits, Julie Mystery. Julie Misty, mystery gal of her so-called silence doll. You poking her in the belly, sis, on that one. And shooting yourself in the foot all at the same time, chick. But with yo. And am I, doll? I am, dear one, so-called incapable as F in your view, chick. To help the people so-called see for themselves. And nah, hun, they don't need no private emails on her. A hey, babes, my babesters of the hour, for who, dear ones, do we have mostly listening? They're curious as up. Listen by now to this story, story, bro. Yeah, dog, my future papsy wapsy dog of the hour, for this one, bro. Think future bros in Christ, if you like, blokes, all of yous, blow in your, your tops, bro. Yeah, son, could be my son of the hour for this one, bro, if you but just. They love it, bro, seeing a so-called. Oh, he thinks he better than the rest of us, so-called local boys. But will I, bro? I will, dog, go for the jugular on you, sis, if I can. Not, hun, not her seal at all, chick, but with her. And do you see it from you boys by now, finally, bro? that she's for sure loath to operate all in. Sleuth mode, folks. It's definitely what she wants to do by now at your church, son. But, well, so-called Christmas dresses, folks. They can for sure look. Wasn't there, blokes. But, well, jealous, my loves, of all that she... Oh, they look into, sis, and wonder it on a... A word, fast, daily, folks. Why, a married as F woman gotta look all... Uh, side note, the Lord did tell me that I'm supposed to be dressing nice and looking nice at this time. So that is part of the reason. Back to the message. Oh, she pretty, hun. So it's true, doll. So it's true. But is she, doll? Yeah, dear one. So I speak of being prideful as F about it any more, boys, that I told her. She got this here thing going on for her over here. Just one thing, doll, and that's, well, hope, hun. Open it on her, a eh? Fast daily, my loves, of... When, Lord, am I just finally going to get my Stefan guns in order of... Oh, he shot, bro. Straight down into the core of his being, folks, finally. And that's a... 
Well, Lord, so you say I ought to just go talk to this gal, bro. But she seems so easily able to crush my spirits, bro. My big bro in the sky. Walk in her so-called walk out of my... <laughs> oh, it is so-called, bro. Ain't no Marilyn Monroe swishing her condemned hips of... <laughs> oh, she an elephant at times, bro. Just showed up to his condemned event in no cowboy boots of... And here you go, bro. Those condemned cookies you just had to have for your... <laughs> Uh, I was not wearing cowboy boots, but I was wearing my snow boots, so that's a joke. Not, bruh. Not how she was thinking about it at all that night, folks, but, well, wishing, son. Son of mine for this thinking bloke. And you right, dog, you right. Or did she, boys? She did, bro. Want to be all like it, folks. Of. <clears throat> and hey, Stefan, what's up, bro? My for show, bro, in Christ for this one, dog. Planning no. What, bro? So it's all for so-called little old me, chick. Nah, dear one, she ain't that crass as F, bro. And yeah, dog, think basically no more ego in general, bro, to this dear sweet gal of mine, letting herself get all walked over by... Mm. So there he tell, said I could tell this small story, and I was touched that the Lord spent so much time in private on this because he saw... Every time, it's just private. Like, my facial expression was stone, like, just normal uh, when this happened. But the Lord sees deep down when my spirit gets crushed. And he knew that I was really sad that this happened. Um, at church, like, at our church, people always, like, cutting into the conversation. And then they interrupt. And then they'll be like, sorry, or excuse me. And then you just assume whatever they had to say was super important or they got to go. So, but we were at this like play rehearsal thing afterwards and I was talking to a lady about some fabric stuff because they want me to help a little bit make a couple things. I was like talking to this lady about this roll of ribbon and this other lady that she's not a stranger to me. I met her twice in private this year. So she was like a possible friend type person, but nothing ever happened. Um, she went around in circles at one point with me about meeting, so I just let it go. It's just like, I don't think she really wants to meet, so I let it go. And then at this rehearsal thing, she asked me to come, and I was there, but then when I was talking to this lady, she totally cut me off. Like, she just cut into the conversation, didn't acknowledge me at all, didn't say sorry, and all I had was, like, a few more things I wanted to say. Or actually, just one more thing I wanted to say, but she didn't give me the chance to do that. And it was all about, you know, kids' Christmas play. So uh, deep down, I was just like really crushed that she treated me like Shiza. And I stood there for a moment and <laughs> totally even blacked out. A little bit of blackout, like not even looking at who did it. The Lord revealed it in the Rima later who it was because there were two other ladies in charge. And I slowly took, there was a roll of ribbon that I had. I slowly took it and just placed it in the basket of the woman I was talking to and turned and walked back to my spot. So this is what he is talking about. And then, um, yeah, basically just never had anyone in my life explain these small things to me. Why, you know, a Christ, so-called Christian lady who so-called likes me, who we spent time together, then she rejects me for a meeting, which I don't, don't know why, because it's, you know, the new Julia. year. And then she's rude as F at church. Um, it's just the Lord explaining these things to me, why these things happen. So I'm really thankful to him for that, for helping me through that. Um, and he did say, he said the dress was a factor. Um, that dress is really modest. So like definitely old me would be like totally confused why that happened. All right. So yeah, he's like, he's transitioning into this topic. Don't get you at all, sis. Yeah, hun, it's bad, doll, at this time, dear ones. And you, babe, showing up to church, all pretty as F, and told her to, doll. So I actually just told her, folks, she need to be all ready. Oh, she smiled at him finally, bro. But did he, dog? He did, bro, kind of chicken out on her, a eh, dear ones, when he... Yeah, dear ones, so I speak of walking right by, folks. The chance in life you have, sis, too, and that's a... Uh, yeah, doll, so if you can handle these so-called words today, coming from her sweet two lips of me, doll. So it's actually me, says, telling her to, holding herself back from going in on the jugular on your A for quite some time, sis. But does she? She does, dear ones, from time to time, try to email 
But, well, deleted, bro. My latesters in crime for this one, folks. Thinking she all just abused, dear ones, in the simplest, worstest. The silence, bro, in your house, son. I see it's finally killing you, dog, too. Just get you some, bro. Yeah, dog, my lovely non-dog of the hour. So I speak of pets, folks. And is she? She is, bro, actually loath, deep down, dear ones, to be so-called owned. One more time, bloke, by My blokey bloke of the hour for this thing in on her so-called A-word of Oh, you right, sis, you right, doll. She likes that money just flowing from his wallet, doll, of But, well, poverty, hun. So it's actually staring you in the face. Finally, doll. If you don't, but just adjust your prideful as F belt on this one, doll, and that's of Yes. So I heard your channel. I've heard you speak. I know you think that you're at poverty level or, you know, economically speaking, you are. But the Lord is clearly uh, signaling that that can go even lower for you. So but I don't want to get into details um, on that. Back to the message. David dress of a woman type of repentance blokes for always, bro. This dear little sweet girl of mine, folks, has always. So is true, my love. So it's true. Been ready to. Okay, Papa, so you said no more cleavage, bro, but well, what dog? You dog in the sky to me for this one, bro. So you actually want me to wear what to church, bro, when I'm supposed to be so called impressing? Oh, she impressing him, bro, with that B wordy as F attitude in his view of pray for them, dear ones, that he can so called forgive his dear gal of and all. What about forgiveness, chick, and all that it? Not doll, not trying to start a fight with you at all, chick. Just, well, services, bro, that one so-called person in Christ can do for another. So-called needs it. Dear sweet to me, gal, of, nah, bro, ain't like that at all, blokes. Just, well, her heart, hun. Let's just say, finally, folks, that it's dying, dear ones, literally ticking its final ticks of, and did I, folks, not extend her life for this very reasy reason of him, doll, Yes, yeah, sis, so I'm saying it too, chick. Even my so-called righteous as F saints need a little more time, folks, with his so-called chick on earth, bruh, so that he can see it for himself, bruh. And that's the true as hell humility that comes from dying, dear ones, as felt ein Mensch oder eine Frau dolls, and he winked. My femi fatale dolls of the hour, yeah, dear ones, so she actually knows it deep down, bro. Every Sunday, bro, that every time she shows up looking all, mm, she's actually just wasting away, bro. Right before they judging her too harshly still, bro, for all this time, A's. Looking, dog, for all her so-called faults in the spiritual realm, bro. But I don't see one, dog, so she must be, well, a female dog, bro, in the worstest. And man snatcher, bro. It's pretty much what all the pretty latesy latesters in crime for this one, bro, are thinking on her A daily folks of not, bro, not looking to snatch up anyone so called man of Oh she turns them, bro, eyes and ears perked up to see. You know what, folks, I think my dear so called wifey for this one folks just dissed. Don't bro, don't know much at all about her, sis. Just well. Is it dull or not, sis? Yeah, dear one, so I speak of the errors in so-called life that can come from pushing around a sis in Christ to you, doll. And, well, could have been an ally of yours, chick, for a long time there, sis, if you but, if you but hadn't. All right, so he's talking about uh, the conversation starting perhaps to start soon with Stefan. Oh, it'll be out, hun, and soon, folks, and that's so. Uh, well, I don't remember them talking so much together this whole year, bruh. But, well, suck me sideways, folks, if it don't seem like they... Oh, it's a seam, dear ones. It's a for sure... It's for sure a seam of silence. Finally getting ripped, bro. Straight down of... Not, bro. Not how unraveling a seam of seemingly silly silence works, bro, is it? Okay. Um, yeah. So, right here, I'll just have the seam at the top. And whenever you rip open the top of a seam, uh, you have to do a couple very tiny rips and sometimes I use scissors just to cut the right spot and then as it slowly starts to break apart then I can do like a stronger rip and then I pull the fabric and then it rips and then it does a few seams at a time a few um, 
threads at a time and then you rip it and you pull it and um yeah it takes a while to get it that process going so that's what the lord meant um, okay, so the Lord told me that it's uh, getting awkward for one of you that is, I know you in real life and you're watching these videos, and he wanted me to tell you that, well, he told me to tell you stuff, and then I did. I made a mistake not to write down exactly what he wanted to tell me, so I've been thinking about it, but I think this is what he wanted me to tell you, that um, it's really normal for God's saints to have one or two things that need to be like fixed or cleared out. And he told me privately that like every single person on earth has at least a few things that need to be fixed in their lives as far as sin goes. So the prophecy gift is partly about cleansing and like pouring salt on something or bleach. If you want to think of it as bleach, it's painful. So if you have a wound and you pour something cleansing on it, it hurts. And so you're basically going through a small process. Uh, these are not huge whops uh in my view i've uh i cannot share the private stuff i've gone through with the lord but um some of you who stuck with this channel the whole time you can probably imagine some of the whops that i've received but don't, that just means the lord really loves you when he's gonna come forward to you as a shepherd and whack you on the head with a stick but then he's gonna take you as psalm 23 he's gonna lead you to those quiet waters after that process Unfortunately, my process has lasted about a year and a half, so it's been really rough. Um, but the Lord has been laying Psalm 23 on my heart lately. He will be guiding me to those quiet waters for a time. That will be a nice period of rest after all this cleansing process. That's the only reason I'm allowed to receive these Rima messages is because I took his instructions seriously. I still made mistakes, but I'm not supposed to be speaking about those things and the Lord reveals them as he so chooses but in general I still tried my best to do what he said and as an emotionally abused person the hardest thing was like when the emotions flared up and then I react to something in a wrong way but even then the Lord had a lot of grace for me because he knows how I was raised and that is hard for me to respond correctly sometimes to things because I get triggered and as for you um yeah, it may feel like a lot because you are very good at having a lot of people like you and the Lord likes you too, <laughs> but he sees right through you. So, And um, and that's the gift of prophecy as well. The Lord chooses who he's going to open up to me and who he reveals their hearts. And you just happen to be one of them that he's starting to reveal some about. If I have any traits of pride about that or if I start to judge you, He's ready to walk me in seconds. Um, as soon as the Rima comes, I only receive it twice a week. As soon as it comes, it's a, one of the first things he will do. He's like, your attitude about so-and-so is wrong. Or what you think about this person is wrong. Uh, I was getting annoyed with someone online for talking too long. And all they had was one or two things to say about the Lord. And, and God convicted me on that. He's like, your attitude about that person is wrong because they're allowed to have their commentary. He told me that. So, um, yeah, that is just a little bit what I wanted to say. So this is not about human versus human. That's not it at all. Uh, and I do have a naturally, I, I can look rude sometimes on my face. I apologize for that. I don't ever mean for that to come across at all to you. Um, but anyways, I, I'm just, yeah, church does stress me out sometimes. So and uh, another small point that I wrote down is that it's my job as a prophet to be obedient to the Lord. So if I don't come on here and like say what the Lord told me to say, um, that's disobedience. So I'm not going to be putting man on a pedestal to the point where I'm not willing to say something harsh. And if God tells me to go up to a person and tell them to their face something, in general, I try to do my best. Obviously, I chicken out with Stefan. But if God tells me to do something, then I try my best to do it. So he said, oh, it's awkward as F for him at times, brah, to know that. What, bro? So she actually knows, sees it and comprehends it, bro. My big bro in the sky for this one, folks. That I'm all, mm, when I really just saw, mm, oh, he pretended, folks. That he got all his Julie guns in order, bro, when he really, yeah, folks, then kicking my dear gal to the curb and twice, bro. It was all she needed to see from his side, folks, of that stony, don't talk to me, B. Countenance of his bro. 
that he so unwisely. And will it, folks? It will, dog, for sure, be a factor, bro, in future times, sis, as to all the Haiti, hating their so-called hate, hatred she'll receive from so-called Christy Christians and crusty, bro. And yeah, dog, dog. My non-doggy of the hour, he winked, for this one, bruh, comprehending their hearts, bruh, crumbling and crackling for, well, him, bruh, once they see. Yeah, boys, so I think our dear sad sack for this one, bruh, Stefan, actually chose the, the wrongy wongy <laughs> gal of a lifetime for his tongy, bruh. Yeah, folks, so I'm saying it, chick. Ain't gonna be no messy as hell. The gray area folks, we're still in it, dear ones, so just trillax for me, sis, on all that you leave in her, dear ones, in the lurch, this timey time, bro, for one more, no more, dear ones, yeah, doll, my dollsters of the hour, so I speak of Christmas, folks, being all like a, an economic crash, sis, so it's coming, doll, and I mean for you, chick, if you don't adjust. All right, so he was speaking of Braveheart. He did compare one of you listening privately, you perhaps know who you are, um, to Braveheart because um, some circumstances in your life. But he was also comparing Stefan to Braveheart <laughs> and looking at this challenge and saying, Win, Lord. Yeah, doll, so I speak of getting the ball rolling. You joke, sirs, for this one, bro. Thinking that he can't get no. Oh, he could get it, bro. Just about kill, well, pretty much all they pussycats and hearts, too, bro. At the same condemned time of, but well choices, bro, and good ones, dog, unlike her, son, unlike her, made in the spiritual realm of, but well, should you, bro, actually go go in on her so-called jugular in the spiritual realm, folks, when, oh, I can flip them, bro, the so-called tabley table folks of, and now it's your turn, B, to clean up your, <clears throat> what you wear to so-called church, bro, oh, it is so-called, dude. For pushing, shoving down, and munching their munch on. Oh, it kills them at times, bro, to know that they all enjoying her mm, when they really just want to eat her. Reputation alive. That reputation of hers, folks, and whether you... Oh, he knows, chick. Just knows it for sure, doll. That she got some skelly skeletons in the closet of... No need, doll, to go in for the jugular on. Mm. For guesses it, doll. Yeah, hun, so I mean, already, on hey, a word chick, that she all, mm, when she just pretended to be all, mm, ain't much pretending anymore about it, folks. And yeah, doll, so she even loathed to touch hey on man's hand when she, yeah, so side note, when Max gives me an item, I always make sure, like, when he gives it, I always make sure I don't touch his hand, and if I have to touch his hand, I ask him to set it down on a surface so I don't have to touch him at all. Back to the message. Love you doll for sticking with this story dear ones and whether it turns out well Hallmark barfing my annoyed as F barf all over that Christmassy shiza this year folks. Oh it's her bruh. It's for sure her boys. Once she sees. Yeah folks so she's gonna have an itty witty little probby wobby on her hands and soon folks and that's of love you dear ones for sticking with me doll so it's actually me chick that's trying to keep you all up and spick and span and then their audience's views of getting they so-called clues of so i did zone out with someone that i spoke with at church i was kind of embarrassed about that the lord did speak to me about that and told me privately it's just something i will deal with the rest of my life as a result of um just the way things worked with my brain I was ready for burnout in college and I never did anything about it. I just kept working. So, and then by the time all the social media crazy got really ramped up, I was really unable to keep up with it. That was part of the reason I stopped with Facebook, but uh, I usually don't tell people that. I just say, oh, it's too many people showing off and all that. But it also does have to do with my brain's capacity to deal with. And yeah, doll, think zoning out for the win, chick, at times as you. Did it, bro. And yes, yeah, son, my true son of mine, for this here reasoning's sake. So no, no more wondering it on hey, A word, bro. She for sure zoned out, dog, as she tried to fight and bro to keep all her neg negative as F commentary she wanted to say about these. Don't give a F about me, blokes, family, so I might as well just. Oh, it a might, bro. It a might, folks. 
might actually find himself that sweet to him Mike bro and whether he can pull off another sweet to her so over it folks by now all those little sweet to her rough as f in his view a eh? by now dear ones finally signaling to him and righteously so bro that she oh yeah dog so he actually exhausted by now dear ones running out of ideas finally bloke of what she actually a barn dance bro and yeah dear ones so she actually dreamed one up for her own sick as f to her in the spiritual realm that day bro but did she even know it folks that all he wanted was a mm, yeah dear ones thank pussycat for the win bro and not dog so it's not folks what this dear little so-called lad of mine is on about when he uh so here he's explaining how shevin's trying to view the situation that you just all straight up and married the wrong as hell man so switcheroo folks we for sure gotta do ourselves a little big old big d in the sky to her for now folks switcheroo and that's of love you dear ones for sticking with me dear ones so yeah chick it's actually me that how many times do i have to say it folks before you'll start believing me bloke that she my blokey blokes of the hour thinking she just not that clever bro but well smart son finally in all the ways that she needs dear ones and whether you oh it's time sis to stop moving in and out of those expensive as f and they view sis hotels of and doll my dollster of the hour charity hun so it's about time sis you go for the gold on your own a doll learn to be some sweet little old lady servant willing to help you out chick and yeah doll think old lady with the cute cats for the win sis if you wanna the difference in life dear ones and whether you can give it to me bruh so it's actually me speaking through her that you need to but well no need bro yes yeah, son so i speak of the cold shoulder bloke for did she bro she did dog want to show you she's willing to show up to that silly as f in her view at times dogs and she writes she writes sis but well me my loves me myself and i have told her bro to yeah, son, thank respect you respect for all the masses of so-called. Oh, it is so-called, bro, at times. Just well, not. And. Okay, so I did really want to sleep in on Sunday, but the kids woke me up, and then I did want to show up. Uh, I just say that, in general, I would try to listen online if I'm unable to go, or I'm just, like, mentally unable to go to church. He said I could give you a hint about something. And then I was, I should have written it down because I get, I had a headache. I have a hard time sometimes remembering what the Lord means from the spiritual realm if I don't write it down. So uh, your, your hint is that there is, there is a pastor whose heart may not be where it seems to be with the Lord. So that will just, I will just say that. And the other hint, I wasn't sure which one to give. Uh, maybe that also that I won't be dressing this way for a long time. The Lord let me know that. So I'm just, I'm supposed to be looking nice for now, but I don't know when that's going to change. Um, but I am not prideful. I just, I'm trying to look nice, uh, as the Lord said. And then, yes, so the Lord said that I could ask y'all for prayer. Uh, the prayer <laughs> coming up, apparently, this is in advance, so another prophecy sort of thing. But he's saying that Stefan will start speaking to me, and I will start having a problem staying calm. So, <laughs> and it's my job to stay calm. That's my big goal. Um, so it's been hard for me to respond nicely to him recently because i just finally so over it all. But now the Lord helped change my heart partially through your prayers. So thank you so much for that. And uh, the next step will be the Lord compares him to a rabbit, basically. So he will be like hopping into my space. He's going to talk to me for a short time and then he'll hop back out. And when he hops back out, it's my job to stay away. So and that's going to be the hardest part because he comes across as so um, friendly and so open and so like, you're my favorite person in the world. Like that's kind of the way he comes across when he speaks with someone. Um, but that's not like for me, that's definitely, it's, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Uh, it's more like a, a testing round. The Lord compared it to that. So 
it may feel like it's one thing, but it's really something else. Uh, and that is what makes him so such a difficult person to, to figure out. Yeah, and back to the pastor that I wanted to speak to. Uh, yeah, just just know that you're blessed because you're listening. There are others in the church that also absolutely need to hear stuff. They just don't happen to be listening. So that is actually a form of blessing to you that you're listening um, to this channel and the Lord's going after you uh, to get you prepared to keep the wonderful opportunity that you've been given uh, because there are no guarantees in ministry when it comes to working with the Lord. Um, as far as standing before humans go, uh, it can be one thing, but when you stand before the Lord in the spiritual realm, He's the one who decides if you get to keep keep a platform or not. So that's up to him. And and I was actually on the verge of just shutting this whole YouTube thing down last year when the uh, nuclear bomb in life happened to me that I still cannot speak of, but many people have had hints from the Lord through this, these small rhema messages. I thought it was time to shut it down. From a human perspective, I think it was. <laughs> But from God's perspective, he said no, and he said, we're going to keep on going. So all of that is truly an honor, actually, to work with the Lord and have him. I think it's like going to the dentist. I don't know if you hate it, but I for sure hate it. When you take that little thing, like scraping out the plaque and stuff or scraping out the root. I guess you've never had a root canal. It sucks and it's painful and it sounds awful. I hate the sounds of it. <laughs> I hate reading some of these words sometimes, but then then you don't have a dead tooth in your mouth, you know? <laughs> I think you kind of get what I'm saying, and I'm definitely not trying to be rude as I share this. Uh, the Lord did ask me to explain a little bit. I hope I did share what I was meant to share, and if not, it will come back. It'll come out on the next video, and um, yeah, just a quick note to April, I do uh, wish you blessings as well. I do not wish you any harm or anyways, I think I have to stop there, but I do want to say that I wish you well. These words are from the Lord. They're not from me or from any hatred that you may think that I have or the Lord is just as harsh as to me in private as he has been to you online. So, uh, if not more, the Lord has definitely stabbed me in the belly with some of his words. So it's meant to be considered an honor that he's giving you a warning, but that is obviously up to you how you take it.